Okay, so welcome to a walkthrough of the LibreRisk 5 uh, microarchitecture diagram. So, first thing here we have the uh, register file, which we're going to do so far either three read, one write, or two read, one write, two R, one W. And it's divided into four banks where the these are still 64 bit this is the high and the low for a uh, first 64 bit lane and this is high and low for second 64 bit lane and the these are the 32 bit uh, uh, pairs this will be for all registers with a destination uh, in it's an even number and this will be a destination that's an odd number so um, uh, if you happen to have two operations which have the uh, same even uh, number on the destination register they will not be multi-issue only registers which are um, uh, odd and even numbers will end up being dual issue 64 bit now when there is uh, when there is uh, element width set to 32 then you get the quad issue because the bank the banks will be, be you'll be able to force, get four things on on, on the, this and the reason for doing it this way is that this goes direct there is no right routing Okay, so these go direct. It's only crossbar on the reading this from the source registers. This is a augmentation of a uh, CDC sixty six hundred scoreboard, and to understand it properly, you need to read the book, the design of the computer, or Mitch Olsop's two chapters uh, which he wrote which explained this um, uh, the, 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 the scoreboard 6600 scoreboard system is genuinely equal to the Tomasulo algorithm that's a reorder buffer in all its features in his book chapters describe a way to provide that same functionality without requiring CAMs so the augmentations that we've got here is that we have function units which are dedicated to 64 and 32 bit and again you can see you can see that the pairs of 32 bit function units give both their uh, 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 pairs of source operand, operands to 64 bit ALUs so these are your function in this end of the scheme. The function units are equal to and synonymous with reservation stations. It's a very important um, uh, uh, insight. In, in there. So you have multiple function function units giving multiple reservation stations. So pairs of function units uh, with the reservation stations on each um, are grouped together to give you. 64 bit operations. Now these are the 8 bit ones and likewise the uh, pairs group together to give you the 16 bit operations. So function unit 5 which only has 8 bit incoming data and function unit 6 only has 8 bit, 8 bit incoming data are paired together on both the source 1 and the source 2 uh, 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 to, as input to a 16 bit operation which produces the destination result. Yeah. Now, because this is a virtualization system uh, and it has uh, functions down to the 8 bit uh, level, you notice here there's only 32 bit uh, uh, routing, crossbar routing. Groups, four groups of function units, 8 bit function units, the source registers are individually thrown into an X bit manip. ALU, which processes, munges the bytes, 
it's given special opcode. It's given you know, um, a, 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 a microcoded opcode, uh, which will munge the source register one and put it back into the reservation stations of the function unit, the 8-bit one for, five, for the corresponding ones. Likewise for source two. So there is no dedicated eight, eight to eight, eight um, uh, crossbars. Uh, we can add as many of these or as few as is needed for the uh, VPU processing, um, audio processing, etc., and to give the necessary um, amount of throughput for, uh, for, for things. Which is not, the reason for doing this is if they're not needed, um, uh, if you put them here. So that you get the thing. They have a massive number of, of these crossbars, crossbars um, here and here. This becomes a 16 byte in, 16 byte out crossbar. Uh, we can't have that. Um, so uh, it's just way too much because we need two of them times time, uh, and then for the, oh, it's just, it's just, the numbers are ridiculous. So um, uh, uh, if they are used as actual ALUs as a secondary purpose we can get away with it and justify putting them in. Plus, um, here you will have um, a queuing on the reservation stations as an inherent feature of the function of units dash reservation stations, those two being synonymous now, um, uh, which will uh, 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 result in... Um, uh, you will have the infrastructure to be able to queue the, the data here, process them, put them back into here, and then throw them to whatever function unit, um, whether it be an 8-bit or a 16-bit operation, um, uh, to produce the destination result. Um, so, one thing, additional thing on here is that um, re uh, uh, the, this is an, an addition to the uh, uh, standard uh, scoreboard system where uh, a register which, requires, which is required uh, for a 32-bit operation obviously cannot then be used its byte, its byte lanes 3, 2, 1, 0 cannot be used for 8-bit operations Interestingly, though, uh, if you reserve byte three for use in an eight-bit operation, and one we're here, whilst it's whilst the same register may not be used for a thirty-two-bit operation, uh, the bytes two, one, and zero may still be reserved for op for operations. So. Um, Whilst normally in a reservation uh, reservation system you, uh, you have um, the uh, source registers and this will stop other operations. So let's uh, ignore all of that and all of that and let's imagine you've just got four function units. Here's your read and there's your write dependencies and you just you stop them, boom, boom, boom. Uh, and there, um, uh, what we do here is uh, if this one stops that here, it stops all of these from operating on the same on the same uh, same register, um, so um, uh, it, it's a so yeah it's it's a combination of the two. Um, so, so that's what that's what that diagram's about. Now the other thing is that the um, we in this particular architecture we have 128 registers. We can't possibly have that many because this matrix will be. The, the, the function unit to re register matrix would be absolutely massive. This is going to be um, when we include um, branches in here and branches in there and load and store in here and load and store in there. This is going to be uh, it's going to be huge uh, a table hit table here and it's going to be a huge table here as well. It's basically a bit unfortunate we've got this, this um, uh, double, doubling the size of this matrix in order to be able to incorporate the scheme. Um, uh, so remember, um, uh, each reservation station, each function unit is synonymous with a reservation station row of the Tomasulu algorithm system. I described this in earlier uh, videos. Um, so we'd have to uh, 
um, have an intermediate registry register uh, lookup table, and this will be a one byte, ex a one bit, sorry, exclusive marker in set in here to indicate that uh, this register um, uh, line is in use. So it's not a direct; it's a lookup table, a lookup um, account indicating the bits. Um, but fortunately, you. It's not a um, the decode the uh, decode of the addressing has already been done. The register numbering has already been done. So it's a, a seven bit to one twenty eight bit unary uh, uh, encoding, and this simply goes straight through to the um, to the register file uh, uh, number here. There's no there's no separate unary decoder like we'd, we'd normally get on an SRAM. Uh, anything else? I think that's basically it. Uh, thank you very much.